During a time where maps covered with blue bubbles are now the norm, and Thanksgiving may actually mean, thanks for giving me coronavirus, we decided against visiting our family in Vegas, baby. Instead, we hitched up our home and drove 234 miles north of Houston to Tyler State Park. We arrived late Wednesday night, but came prepared to start Thanksgiving morning off right with pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. We stayed at Site 117 at the Cedar Point Campground. This RV or tent site has electric and water and costs $22 per night. Tyler State Park excited us because of the miles of hiking trails. From our campsite, we connected to Loop D Trail. The rolling hills and small ravine crossings made our four mile trek actually feel like a hike. This might just look like a pile of rocks and a trickle of water, but the small dam is an example of how the Civilian Conservation Corps built the park using natural materials. Many of the trees that the CCC planted in the 1930s have grown old, but even in death they continue to bring new life to the park. I think I knew what was on my husband's mind when he started walking like a turkey. We put the eight pound bird in the oven, then prepped some side dishes and dessert. The turkey cooked faster than we expected in our tiny oven and was slightly overdone. Yeah, it's done. During our hike, I collected some short leaf pine cones and red leaves to make a centerpiece for the table. I can't believe that we made such a huge feast in our tiny trailer, and we had such a terrific view. But our hearts were in Vegas, and our stomachs knew what we were missing out on after dinner. Pie, pie, and so many pies. Stuffed and happy, we drove over to the lake to watch the sunset before we collapsed in a turkey coma. This channel is called Exit from Excess, but we still hit the Black Friday sales at the gift shop, where we always get 10% off with the park pass. So we bought a couple of shirts and a sticker for the trailer. After we finished our shopping spree and put all of our stuff in the truck, we took a stroll around the lake by land and by water. With all the money that I've made from YouTube, I got drone footage of our pal around the lake, and I even labeled everything for you. We left the park on Saturday to get some country tavern barbecue. Perhaps the CCC workers ate there too, since it's been open since 1939. We also went bargain shopping at Ollie's in Longview then headed back to the trailer to spend the evening curing the pandemic and building railroads across the country. If you only have the time or the energy for one hike at Tyler, I highly recommend the Whispering Pines Trail. I learned a lot about the park history and the vegetation from the signs located all along the trail.
The CCC built a one mile long trail to encourage visitors to experience a park with their eyes and their ears. Russ heard a woodpecker. Did you spot him? According to Google, it's a red bellied woodpecker. And yes, his belly is white. Thanks for joining us for Thanksgiving. I sure hope you had a good one. Bye for now.